Greetings, dear ones. I'm Cryon of Magnetic Service. The channeling this evening is going to be different. We'll speak about things we really have not spoken much about. It is about the complexity of the human spiritual system. And before we begin, just an acknowledgement of why we're here. The process of channeling, which will not always exist, is here for one reason. And that is to celebrate the human being. It is never here to accuse. It is never here to spread fear. It's never here to motivate you to do something you would not do otherwise. This is family at its best, who sits with you and holds your hand and tells you a story about your enablement, of how worthy you are, of how beautiful the system is. And if you sit in front of someone who says they're channeling and you don't hear that, be discernful of what is what. For the creative source of the universe and you are aligned in purpose, in compassion, in love. And even though a veil separates you from all of that, you can still feel it. Perhaps you can see it and feel it in my words. I was never a human. I am not necessarily a single entity, if you want to even say the word. I'm a voice from home, representing trillions and trillions of what you would call souls of God. God is bigger than you think, different than you think more loving than you know and far far beyond that which is called human consciousness God does not do human things God does not have reactions to human things there are no disputes in heaven with God only the compassion and the love that is as pure as anything you can conjure up so that we can give you messages that are benevolent, kind, loving, and empowering. That's who God is. That's the kind of messages I bring. And I wanted to qualify that if I never had before of the purpose of channeling and what it's about. Never is it presented to conjure up a following. Never. It's just information for those who want to hear the truth of the beauty that surpasses any understanding of any human being. It's bigger than you know. I set up a pretense, a question. And the question is this, do you believe it's reasonable that as the energy and the system and what is old and what is new, as it shifts into a new paradigm, is it reasonable that the attributes would also change of anything that used to be. And if you are agreement to that, then you will not find this message controversial. You will welcome it and know that it's real. 
But there are those who will say, God is always God, the systems are always the same. The reaction with humanity is always the same. Things that have been the same for a thousand years will be therefore the same for the next thousand, no matter what you do. And for those, you should close your ears to what's coming, because you won't like it. The beauty of this message, dear ones, is that the very intrinsic system, if you want to call it, of human spirituality that you have become used to is starting to change. We have concentrated almost exclusively on your change in consciousness, in DNA, your higher self, relation to God, all of these things. We've not really talked much about anything else until now. It has to make sense to you that in an older energy, things were one way. In a new energy, they begin to change. Perhaps one of the most stable things, and yet the most misunderstood, is the human Akash. <laughs> it's stable in that you are aware of it. Let us again define it. Let's look at it together. The Akash is the energy of what has been. In the times that you have been on earth, which we would call your expressions of energy, you call them past lives. To you, life is everything. To us, we see life as passing one to another to another. We see you in transition constantly. We always see you in transition. We see the soul, which is you, as ancient, and we also see it as forever. We see the potentials of your next life, all of you. It is your choice on this side of the veil, what you do, how you do it. But it's part of a system with the others who are also looking at the same thing. We never see a life. We see a system. In this, I say to you, especially those who have lost loved ones recently, that there is no death. You move from one system to another, from one paradigm to another. And the very essence, the personality, the soul, the beauty, the love, the compassion, all that you think is gone and lost isn't. It isn't. It's all still there. And the beauty of the system is that some of it passes to you, if you want to believe it or not. And others, others, part of the system goes literally into the veil of the earth. And it's complicated. Those human beings you think you've lost are still here in so many ways. And so are you in your past expressions. The complexity of the human system is far beyond anything that you've been told. Listen to me. Every life expression you've ever had, part of your soul, goes into the planet and the grid when you leave and stays here. How does that make you feel to know that you're part of the dirt of the earth? That's part of the grid that starts to work with other human beings. Your wisdom and what you've learned stays here and works with your next incarnation. Don't be shocked and surprised when you walk into the forest and you feel family and you say, this is the greatest thing I ever felt. And you had no idea you're feeling you. <laughs> no wonder it feels good. What a system. But then there's the Akash. The Akash supposedly is an energetic record of what you've done. It is not organized in a linear fashion, and yet you want it to be. You want to then have a past life reader tell you who you've been and what happened, and the reader knows 
that all they're getting is a smattering of energy that is yours in the past. They cannot tell you really when. They can tell you what. What you're working on. What has been completed. What's beautiful about the cycle of the ones and the nines for you. And, and the freedom, perhaps, of karmic energy that you have now. And the Akash will, will be read like a book when it comes to that. And the numbers are obvious. It's also known for carrying past karmic energy. It's known for also prodding you to do other things. Sometimes the Akash gets in the way. Because there's unfinished energy. Things you have to dismiss, become unafraid of, learn from. That's all part of the, the past record brought forward to you today. There are those who carry biases. Tremendous biases you're not even aware of. They're intrinsic. They're in you. They're in your DNA. Because of what happened to you last time or the time before or the time before. Remember, you shift in gender and race. You're everyone. So many things have happened to you. You're not even aware of that you carry. And today something will happen. And there'll be this knee-jerk reaction. A thought will occur. And you'll say, where did that come from? Or perhaps you don't even care. You simply react. There are still so many of you who won't go near the water. Too many drownings have an impact. The fear of this and that and this and that carries through the Akash into the day. And so much of what you're learning now, old soul, is how to work with it and dismiss it. But then, aha, in the last two, three, four years, we've started talking about using the Akash differently. Use it as a storehouse of knowledge that you can pick from. What is it you used to have that you would like now? What about health? What about a longer life? You earned it. It's in your Akash. All of these things we talk about, the lack of fear, self-worth, courage, it's all in there. You've had it all. And we've talked about this. Can you go get it? Can you work on it? And the answer is yes. And you ask how? And we say, the catalyst is your innate. That which is connected to your higher self will start to work with you to give you the things you need that you earned that are already there in your Akash. Now, that's new. But that's not what we're going to talk about today. The system of the Akash is energy driven, not time driven. But it is an energy of what happened. Therefore, there is something we have never mentioned in public channel before. And it's called the Akashic template. Let me explain it this way. The system that you have is built to help you. Your Akash is present to help you. It is a benevolent system to push you and pull you away from the fears you've had, to present things that you have to solve, to have completion in your life as an old soul, to move forward with self-worth. And the past is involved because it's in your DNA. It won't go away. You can't delete it. But you can solve it. You can use consciousness to dismiss it. You can throw away your karma, which we've told you 26 years ago to do. You can get into a state with your higher self that your Akash will then agree with. You can start to rewrite the things that bothered you. But that's not what I want to talk about. The template 
is something that has happened over and over and over and in total benevolence this template is then applied to each life to help the next one but the template is based on old energy old souls all carry an old template new souls on the planet will not past 2017 the very Akashic template of a newborn will start to shift the newborns will not necessarily carry an old energy into this life because the transition of the shift is over the year of the nine has been completed the one year is here and the template begins to change now let's stop talking about the newborn for a moment and talk about the old soul and what the template may mean and what it is doing because you're going to be surprised what is it a human being has lifetime after lifetime expression after expression you are culturally allied to the template and lifespan how old do you get before you die when does aging set in and you might say wait a minute that's not benevolent what if I told you it was dear ones in an old system that has you die and come back quickly so that you can continue a beautiful beautiful system that if you lasted too long if you were here too far you would miss out on coming back quickly what if I told you that the template actually is alive and well in you that is still working on an old assumption that you've got to leave this planet in order to come back with new information that we talk about dear ones that is the old system it's a system of old souls you leave the planet and you come back and you continue while you're young you pick up the wisdom and you continue now some of you are starting to draw the picture already in this new energy you're gonna last a lot longer the very consciousness that is promoted by the shift is going to have the ability to solve health problems consciousness problems self-worth problems you won't be dying of broken hearts you won't be dying because you're desperate or you don't believe in yourself and that's all part of the old template that when you get into that scenario you leave the planet and you come back so you can continue but suddenly suddenly that's not the way it is you start to pick up things from the old Akash it keeps you alive longer and healthier you're able to share more you're able to have mastery in your old age the old 60 is 80 and you move forward you have no idea how long you're built to live dear ones with the DNA that you have we've said it before hundred years way too short the human body is built to live hundreds of years it self replicates it repairs it keeps going but in an old energy it does it badly in a new energy it won't and yet you're sitting there with an old template that is designed to kill you how do you like it so far I want to give you some wonderful news you're in charge of your template totally and completely as it should be if you're one who simply looks down at your body and says hi body I hope you last it won't it'll just do what it wants 
But if you understand you're the boss and you're in charge of all your cells, that your DNA responds to the boss, the consciousness is everything. That is the system. The young people starting to be born on this planet right now will understand that better than any of you. They will last longer. They'll understand they're in charge intuitively without ever having a cryon book. It will simply be in their innate. And their template will be responding to this new energy that they carry. Meanwhile, you've got to rewrite yours. It will respond, it will respond, it will respond. How do I say this to you? Some of you and some listening to this have this overwhelming feeling of how long you're going to live and it's not going to be that long. When you're going to shut down, what diseases you're going to catch, and when it's all happening because the template is the old one. Dear ones, it is not necessary for you to terminate to continue. It is not necessary for you to terminate to continue. It is not necessary to terminate to continue. It just isn't. It isn't. And all you have to do is start affirming that to the template. Talk to it. Dear cellular structure, I am here for the duration. And nothing in the past will determine the future of me. I will last as long as I should. In all appropriateness, I'll decide when it's time to go. Not the old template. Because I'm going to live longer and accomplish more because of it. I am an old soul. That's the information. And the controversy of it is there will be howls from those who say, no, no, no. No, the spirituality is the spirituality. It's always the same, always will be the same. God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Not understanding. It's not God you're talking about. It's humans. The relationship to God is not the same forever. It's new. Real new. Oh, you're so enabled and you don't know it. What news could be better than this? Internally, spiritually, you are in control of the system. And it will not be in control of you. I want you to think of that when you face the doctor and he says something you don't like. <laughs> and you can just smile and know better. The doctor may be correct completely based upon the past, but not what you know about the future. Blessed are the humans who understand this fully right now, who know what I speak of, who are ready to make a, a shift of consciousness, one that starts to define who they are instead of letting the past define who they are. And the beauty of this is this template of yours will respond, understand, know, and start to help you. It's not necessary to terminate at this time like you did before. Brian, I don't fully understand what you're talking about. You will. When it's time to make the decision to stay. This is your legacy. This is why you came. This is the shift. Change is at hand. And so it is.